If you've had an implantable form of contraception like the Nexplanon or Implanon, you're probably wondering how it's going to affect your cycles and ability to conceive after it's removed. Studies have shown that 90% of women ovulate three to four weeks after having it removed. So that means that basically you're able to return to a fertile state quickly, but you may not see signs of that for a couple of months. A lot of women see um, a little bit of irregular spotting or bleeding, and then after a month or two, maybe even three, start to notice that they're having regular cycles that are 25 to 35 days in length from the beginning of one period to the beginning of the next. And once you start seeing regular cycles, then you can assume that you're ovulating about mid-cycle. And if you're trying to have a baby, start timing intercourse with your fertile window. And of course, that will give you a chance of getting pregnant. Keep in mind that most couples have to try for up to about six months before they have a baby. So um, if you've been trying for a couple of months, that's pretty normal. Because you're able to return to a fertile state quickly after having implantable forms of contraception removed, you should think about pregnancy if you start to have symptoms and you haven't started a period after a couple of months. Like I said earlier, that can be normal, but if you haven't seen any bleeding at all, it would be best to take a home pregnancy test just to rule it out or either confirm it as the cause. And for sure, if you're trying to have a baby and you haven't started having regular periods three months after having it removed, call your doctor and based on their knowledge of your circumstances, they'll be able to give you more advice at that point. If you have more questions for me in the future, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.